Hello everyone and welcome to our spiritual communion for this Friday the 1st of May uh, in the third week of our Easter season. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our gospel today comes from the Gospel of John chapter 6 verses 52 to 59. The Jews started arguing with one another. How can this man give us his flesh to eat, they said. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life and I shall raise him up on the last day for my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me and I live in him as I who am sent by the living father myself draw life from the Father. So whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread come down from heaven, not like the bread our ancestors ate. They are dead. But anyone who eats this bread will live forever. He taught this doctrine at Capernaum in the synagogue. The Gospel of the Lord. The last line in today's Gospel gives us the indication that Jesus is in fact teaching, giving a homily. We hear that he gives this doctrine at Capernaum in the synagogue. And today is part three of the three parts of this homily, this discourse that Jesus has been telling those around him. If you remember back a couple of days ago, the theme was belief. Jesus was sharing the word of God. And then today, yesterday, we had the gospel, second part. And now today, we have the third part. And today's gospel starts with another of those interruptions from those listening to this homily. And the interruption takes the form of a question. We hear those arguing with one another, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? And then we hear Jesus' response to that question. For me, I'd like to draw attention to the fact that this third part of the homily, and indeed the first and second parts, mirror exactly what we still do today in our Mass. The second part of our Mass is called the Liturgy of the Word, and it's where the Word of God is proclaimed. And we're asked to believe that Word, which was the theme of the first part of this third three-part homily. Secondly, yesterday we had that belief idea explained. The wisdom of God was opened for us. And that's the purpose of a homily. The purpose of a homily is to break open the word of God, break open and share the wisdom that God has given us. And the third part of our Mass is the liturgy of the Eucharist. And we see that in evidence today, where the emphasis is not so much on believing but on actually eating the bread, eating the flesh and blood and drinking the blood of Jesus and obtaining that nourishment in that more physical form. And so this three-part discourse that we've heard over the last days actually mirrors the Mass as we celebrate it, where we hear the Word of God, where it's explained to us, and then we receive communion. So we might, as part of our reflection today, 
just give thanks to God for the Eucharist that we have. We're unable to celebrate it more fully at this point in time, but at the moment the restrictions seem to be lifting. So maybe very soon we can come together again and share what we've just heard in these last three days. The fact that we can come together and listen to the Word of God, have it broken open for us, and then receive the nourishment of the body and blood of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, I hope you appreciate um, the time of season that we're having. There's been some beautiful sunsets, and I hope you've been enjoying them as I have. Uh, again, if we can assist you in any way, shape or form, uh, we'd love to hear from you, and you'll find our details in the slide following. Again, thanks for joining me for our spiritual communion today. Stay safe, and God bless. Mm -hmm.